Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. So this is the final of the Airfix 176 scale Tiger tank and you will have seen from the previous video that I wanted to do a bit of scratch building um, to add on to the basic kit to see if we could improve it a bit. So after I'd shown you the um, creation of the front mud guards, rear mud guards and the a stowage bin at the rear of the turret I said that what I wanted to do was try and get the hatches on the top of the turret done as well and uh, I, I did manage to do that eventually um, so once that was done I could get on and paint it so this has been finished in um, Vallejo's Desert Yellow um, then it had a sludge wash of brown over it that was wiped off um, I then dry brushed Desert Yellow back over it and then I started doing the process of uh, the chipping that um, Joachim has kindly um, sent me some um, tips on how to do that and uh, the way I uh, have done that on this tank is rather than use the buff I used Iraqi sand um, to give the, the light areas where the, the paint has been um, if you like impacted uh, and then in various uh, parts what I've done within those um, light chips is to put the um, German camo brown from Vallejo in some of the locations to s basically show that the, the impact has got down to the bare metal. Now I think I've done better on the Tiger than I did on the Panther. Um, I've, I think uh, it looks um, quite a bit better to be honest. Um, there are one or two locations I've done it where I, I think it was a bit of a mistake and uh, um, I shouldn't have really put it on there but um, <clears throat> you can see those for yourself. I don't particularly want to go around <laughs> pointing out my mistakes, not because um, um, I'm ashamed of them or anything but to be honest with you, because of the scratch building that I did on this build which I've never done before to such an extent um, I'm still really pleased with the with the result of this build. And what I'll do is I'll put um, some stills at the end so you can perhaps see some of the um, um, chipping effects in more detail. The tracks were a bit of an issue on this one. Um, I super glued the two ends together that was fine they held um, but I had to do that trick where you you basically pull the track between your two um, thumbs and fingers and you just gently pull it and rotate the track round and keep, just keep gently pulling it so that you can um, stretch it a bit and uh, that was a bit of a challenge with this, uh, these particular tracks. The other thing with these tracks, um, and they don't seem to be sitting too well on the on the build which is unfortunate um, I'm not as impressed with the the, the dark sorry the, the rust rusty track from AK not, not so much with the paint itself but the way it kind of sits on these tracks it kind of there's very little detail very bland kind of almost like a chocolate brown rubber band um, I, I haven't achieved um, as much variation I don't think and uh, the other thing is that after doing that I thought hang on a minute this thing's in Tunisia and I'm not so sure how rusty the tracks would have got and perhaps it would have been better having um, a metal finish as opposed to um, a rusty finish but there we go anyway guys um, thank you all for your support with this build and uh, the kind comments after the scratch building um, I really do appreciate it and as I say I will be looking to do some more techniques in the future. Um, certainly um, I will be practicing them more and more and um, hopefully I will improve on them. Right I shall leave you guys in peace. Uh, as I said before have a cracking weekend. I hope you get some bench time and your builds will go well and I'll catch up with you soon.